An intersection in Eaton Rapids is being called a danger zone by many of the residents who live there. This after two accidents in just about 24 hours. The latest victim, a 69 year old man who was crossing the intersection on his bike. Fox 47's Rachel Sweet has the latest from Eaton Rapids. I'm standing between State and Main Street where police tell me there has been close to 10 accidents in this area this year. We're somewhere in the neighborhood of nine crashes, maybe 10 crashes at that intersection since January 1st of this year. Police Chief Larry Week said on Wednesday night, a bike rider was crossing through the intersection and crashed into the side of a car. And a vehicle coming down through the east. Uh, was coming down through the right turn lane that uh, apparently the bicyclist didn't see and uh, ran into the side of the vehicle. Fox 47 spoke with family members of that bicyclist. They tell us he has severe head injury, cuts and bruises on his face and body. Just the day before, another accident at that same intersection. A pedestrian was crossing at the intersection and uh, crossed against the light in a vehicle uh, traveling uh, through the area struck the pedestrian. It's something people in the area know too well. Mark Pasek Jr. says he lost his stepmom in a car accident on the same street. She's riding her bike. Yep, she was cutting up uh, off of uh, M50 over by Flanders and um, uh, an SUV hit her and killed her. Pasek says he doesn't even cross the street by foot anymore. I've ran over across the street a couple times and I quit doing it because it's just, it, there's a lot of road rage right here. There's a lot of um, speeding. The police chief expressed his concern for drivers and pedestrians to pay close attention while in this intersection. Reporting in Eaton Rapids, Rachel Sweet, Fox 47 News. All right, Rachel, thank you. Eaton Rapids police say the intersection between Main and State Street is under the jurisdiction of the Michigan Department of Transportation, so they're unable to add any lights or signs for extra safety.